It was around a year ago that I reviewed this, the Dillinger Lab Danny Transmitter. And as a lot of you pointed out, it's a great product, but what if you don't have a sandbox free to receive the signal it transmits? Well, today, all them issues are about to be changed. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Holland, and today we're taking a look at this, the brand new Street Heart Receiver by Dillinger Labs. Now this really is the missing jigsaw puzzle piece to the SCAR Pro picture. As I said earlier, we have actually reviewed the transmitter here, and of course that transmitter was created basically off the back of your feedback on a video that I created taking a first look at the technology a couple of years ago. So if you haven't already seen those previous videos, please do click the link in the top right hand corner or check out the video links in the description below. But essentially we stumbled across a technology that had been put into a Soundbox battery powered PA speaker and kind of repurposed it because it was only focusing really on home audio use at the time. We repurposed it with a Denon DJ Prime Go and showcased probably one of the world's first complete wireless audio DJ decks using these weird little adapters that we found. And your comments and your feedback made the guys at SCAR take the DJ industry a bit more seriously, first time they'd really looked at it, and they went ahead and they created the Danny Transmitter. Now the Danny Transmitter is a battery powered transmitter. You can connect your professional audio gear straight into there with balanced inputs, and it will transmit it wirelessly. But as a lot of you pointed out, unless you had that sound box free with the proper SCAR Pro chips in it to receive that signal, it wasn't much use to you. And there was a lot of mobile DJs thinking, this is great, but I don't want to have to buy new speakers. Well, today, they're releasing this. This is the Street Heart receiver. It's a professional battery-powered receiver, which can receive that SCAR Pro signal. It has Burr Brown chips inside of it, and it allows you to connect up to four balanced speakers to this one receiver, allowing professional DJs, mobile DJs, and of course, PA installers to use the SCAR Pro system in a professional manner for the first time. So what we have here on the front panel of this device is four TRS outputs. Now, don't worry if you're wanting to connect line level unbalanced signals to this, you can do. These will automatically convert to TS outputs if you connect a TS cable in here. So you have the ability to connect either balanced or unbalanced connections to this receiver. Now the receiver is split into two sides. On the left hand side we have channel one, on the right hand side we have channel two. So we basically have left channel and the right channel. Regardless of this big R on the front, that is just to say it's a receiver and not a transmitter because they do look quite alike, these two devices. But as I say, the channel one from factory will output the left hand channel. On the right hand side, we have the right hand channel being outputted. Now this can actually be changed using a few different button presses on the power button. So we can actually have the entire unit just output left output. So you can have four left speakers connected here or alternatively for right, of course. Now the two bottom outputs are your main two outputs of this device and the upper two are not just backups, but secondaries. So the upper two allow you to connect more speakers should you need. The left hand upper output can actually be padded so you can dip the output by either 12 decibels or six decibels using this dip switch. So you can actually turn down the output should you need to. And which is a stroke of genius, I think, we have the ability to convert the top two outputs into headphone monitors. So by pressing in this headphone button here, we can actually turn these into headphone outputs and we can listen to them and monitor them. So this is really handy for professional installers and front of house people that just want to monitor the signal that's going into this device. We can listen to that. We also have a split option here so we can listen to the stereo output via both, or alternatively, of course, we can just listen to the left out output with the split switch down, or the right hand output from the headphone jack on the upper right. So this really is a professional device. It outputs at 16 dB of output, and it has a very, very low noise floor. So this happily will drive a professional amp rack. So powered speakers and um, 
PA speakers can connect to this, but also amp racks. And that's where I found this came in very, very useful indeed. I took the street heart to a venue of mine, plugged it into an amp rack, and then sent the DJ to go DJ on the roof, on our roof terrace, with just this. And we were able to supply speakers in the building with the wireless signal, and it sounded fantastic. It worked flawlessly. Now, this has been that primarily designed to be used with PA speakers in mind, and you can see that in the outputs. You know, we can connect four speakers to this one device, and because we can connect two SCAR Pro receivers to one SCAR Pro transmitter, that means for every one transmitter, we can actually connect eight speakers. But what kind of use would you use this in? Well, we've tested it in a number of scenarios, and we've been able to connect it using the two outputs here. So we've been able to connect a powered top to a powered subwoofer. We've been able to connect the two to battery powered PA speakers. We've even used a diamond box subwoofer, which is completely uh, battery powered. And we use that with a sound box top. So by connecting this to both speakers and plonking it on top, because this of course is battery powered as well, we had a fully wireless PA system with a 15 inch sub and of course those 12 inch tops from the sound box, which was pretty spectacular to be honest, just being able to wheel that around. Ideal for mobile DJs. But of course you can use it for a variety of other scenarios. Of course, the top two being headphone outputs and good sounding headphone outputs at that. We can use this in a studio environment so we can plonk this down, plug our headphones in and monitor uh, equipment that's based around the studio. Of course, we can combine this with other SCAR Pro speakers, such as the sound boxes and whatnot. But really, this is a PA dream. You can plug this into anything, and it will power anything. Of course, I mentioned it's battery powered. So around on the back here, we have a USB Type-C port to charge this up. This will take any phone charger, you know, 5 volt charger. But if you have got something that's outputting 2 amps or more, you will have the ability to fast charge this, so from dead to fully charged in around 36 minutes, and you get around 14 hours of playback for that. So this will easily do a gig or two. On the back, we have the battery meter. This, you know, is a battery meter. When the bottom one starts flashing, that means you've got about 45 minutes left to get it charged up. Now, I did mention you can charge it by any USB input here, but do be careful if you plug it into a USB port on some audio equipment, you might find them could introduce a ground hum. So just be wary of that, you know, plug it into something that's got a decent ground. We have our power button here. The power button turns on the device, changes it between normal SCAR and SCAR Pro mode, and also enables us to convert these outputs from being stereo, left on the right, right on the right, to being completely left outputs or completely right outputs as well, which is a really cool trick that I like to see. And on the back, we have local volume control. So if you want your rear speakers to be turned down, but you don't want to have to turn down your DJ setup or your transmitter, don't worry about it. Each receiver has its own volume control as well, which is really nice to see. The antenna on the back here can be removed, and once removed, it means that everything on this unit is su supported and protected by the aluminium outer shell. Of course, you can swap this out for a larger antenna, and when you do change that out for a larger antenna, you can re expect to get flawless, locked on, locked latency at around 80 meters with the larger antennas fitted. We didn't fit the larger antenna in our testing and we were around 40-ish meters and we had no audio dropouts whatsoever. If you are experiencing any issues, of course, you can monitor them with the headphone output, but there's also a really handy signal light on the front of the device as well, which will let you know if your signal's coming through nice and strong before you've even connected any audio gear to it. So there is the Street Heart receiver. This has been a long time coming, I believe, for SCAR. Now I think those DJs who liked the idea of the technology before, now they finally do have a product that they can, you know, adapt their existing PA speakers to use. As I mentioned earlier, I did use this in a venue of ours, being able to put a DJ into a makeshift DJ box on the roof, terrace, without having to run what, 40 meters of XLR cable was very, very impressive indeed, and it worked flawlessly. 
The burr brown DAC chips inside of here and that very low noise floor mean that the sound quality coming out of this is just as good as plugging in XLRs a lot of the time. I will put the audio um, conversions and the specs of the audio transmission up here on the right hand side for you to have a look at. But yeah, there is the product. It's a fantastic receiver and it really does complete this picture of the Scar Pro Trilogy. You know, none of this would have been possible without your comments and your feedback on that initial video where I adapted some home audio receivers and adapters to our little Denon DJ Prime Go. And it was your comments and your feedback that enabled the Danny to first be uh, created and then of course the Street Heart. So a big thanks to you guys and the community here at Crossfader for the comments and the love that you've shown this wacky idea I had um, because we finally got some very, very useful products off the back of it. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out. If you've not done so already, please do hit that subscribe button as well. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are well and taking care. I will see you in another video sometime soon.